bully in the classroom. There's been more reporting about schoolyard bullies since this high school girl committed suicide after she was bullied by some of her classmates. And that kind of bullying is a terrible thing, but I say the real bullies in schools are the government and the teachers' union. Let's look at the union first. This ad showing a kid hung up on a coat rack captures what the unions do. They trap kids in horrible classrooms because they won't let schools fire bad teachers or even pay good teachers more. And they've been ruthless at killing off competition from non-union teachers. A new documentary about that called The Cartel was just released. It focuses on New Jersey schools. Here's a clip showing how the state's politicians punish a principal who tried to take action against teachers who watched porn instead of teaching. So you're a principal at a high school in Newark. You see teachers watching porn on the job at school. Right. You want to get them disciplined. And instead, you're removed? Yes. Why? Because these teachers were politically connected to the people who run the North Ward. They play dirty because there's so much money involved. So I guess that's what you mean by a cartel. It's, it's, this is Bob Bowden who made this movie. Uh, it's not just the unions, it's, it's the education establishment colluding with them? Exactly. Cartel meaning a collection of forces that want to prevent change and keep the money flowing. So when a, an administrator, a superintendent, makes $470,000 in one year, the same year he's fired, which we found, that's not the teachers' unions, that's a, an administrator. When a janitor makes six figures in a public school in America, that's not the teachers' unions, that's the janitors. They just like the way things are and they don't want to rock the boat. Keep competition away, uh, and that's the way to keep the bureaucracy in control. All this leads to this monopoly system where everyone's paid the same. Here's another clip from the movie. The speaker is the former chair of the Rutgers University Board of Trustees. Why are they against merit pay? Would you go to any corporation and say, well, I came on the same day as Susie Jones. Uh, she and I ought to be making the same thing no matter what. Does the system get rid of bad teachers? No. 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 No, not, absolutely not. If you work three years in a day, your job is protected the rest of your life, even if you're not effective. It is virtually impossible to fire a teacher. We had a, a teacher who didn't have good control over his temper, and some kids did misbehaved in a woodshop class, and he smashed them across the face. And it took us two years to get the guy up. With, with his fist. With his fist. Just punch kids. The punch kids. Slap kids. Slap kids right. regularly. It, it took two years to fire a guy who punched and slapped kids. There's this myth that uh, the teachers all like being treated the same. That's the union wants to, you to believe that that's uh, what the teachers like. But I get emails and phone calls all the time from people saying, look, I, I agree with your movie, but don't use my name. But I agree with the point that uh, the good teachers should get married pay and the bad teachers should be eliminated from the system. And Hey, they, they agree. I confronted Randy Weingartner once, the head of the teachers' union, and she said, look, these, we have some protections. You can fire a bad teacher. They just don't want to go through the steps. Right. Well, for some reason, no one seems to go through the steps. We looked at entire counties where not one teacher in 70 school districts over a 10-year period was fired, not one out of 10,000 shown in our film, and lots of examples like that. And, and why they don't go through the steps is not just the New Jersey issue. Uh, it's true in other states. I, I have this chart that outlines all the steps you have to take to fire an inept teacher. I mean, first, the administrator must document the problem by filing notes, recording the incompetence. Next, the teacher must sign the note. He must be allowed to attach a written response. Now, this by itself doesn't sound too bad unless you see that it goes on here. And on and on. You have to take your case to a committee, then the school chancellor must uphold the decision, but the commissioner can overturn the decision. A school board must hold lengthy hearings. Their decision can be overturned by the state Supreme Court. If you falter on any of these steps, you're back to square one. So this is why they don't fire even the guy who slaps kids. It takes thousands of dollars, sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars, to get rid of a single teacher. And we show in our film uh, an example where, in one area, 0.03% of the tenured teachers had been let go over a four-year period. In other words, 99.97% were supposedly doing a good job. I asked the union leader about that. She said, we should be proud of that. We should celebrate. That shows 99.97% are great. Wow. 
Well, this is a cartel, and I thought one way to break up a monopoly, a cartel, is to have competition, and I thought charter schools were supposed to be this cure. Well, part of the problem is that there are forces aligned against the growth of charters, where politicians, some of whom receive campaign contributions from the unions, uh, can work to prevent charter growth, and we, sh we show that and document it in the film. New charter schools in New Jersey do have to be approved by the state education department. And when you made this movie, they had reviewed 22 charter applications. They approved just one. And your movie says they don't want competition. They rejected some charters for typos. School is the school that's showing everybody up. And you want as few of those as possible. That's all kinds of social pressure that nobody wants locally. The Department of Ed doesn't have to give a single reason for rejecting a charter. They said we cannot tell you specifically why you were denied because then we would be writing your charter for you. And, and last year after you made this movie they did accept more but they still rejected most. Exactly. Still rejected. There was an all-time high of eight accepted in the state for that year and the fact that was an all-time high and still less than half uh, of the applications shows you what an all-time high means. And maybe you have to have the right politics to be accepted. I noticed that the environmental school got approval and the Obama Green Charter School. 